A Springfield police detective speaking out saying she was fired for posting a pro Black Lives Matter message on Instagram. Good Wednesday afternoon, everyone. I'm Chris Pisano. Western Mass News reporter Audrey Russo joins us now live in Springfield with more. Audrey. Clarissa Fuentes was recently promoted to detective within Springfield's Special Victims Unit. She says following the death of George Floyd in Minneapolis, she recognized there was a problem in policing. After her Instagram post caught the attention of both the Springfield Police Commissioner and the mayor, she says a problem turned into a chasm. Racism is alive, and until people start taking action, things won't change. I feel like no matter what position I took, um, I wasn't going to win. Florissa Fuentes says she wanted to show support for her niece, who attended a Black Lives Matter protest in Atlanta in the wake of George Floyd's police-involved death. At the end of May, Fuentes, a Springfield police detective, shared from her personal Instagram account a photo of her niece at the protest. Her niece's sign said, shoot the F back. And another person in the picture held a sign saying, who do we call when the murderer wear the badge? Fuente says it wasn't long before her co-workers reacted negatively and supervisors, along with police commissioner Cheryl Claprood, called her in. Said, you know, I don't want to fire you. There's a lot of people here that are upset. Um, regarding your post and uh, you need to fix this. Fuentes removed the post and later wrote an apology to her colleagues on the police union's Facebook page. However, Fuentes removed that post too over some comments she viewed as threatening. Some people told me that I didn't deserve to wear a badge. Others told me I stabbed them in their backs. Fuentes says she continued to report to work and was called in again by the department's internal investigation unit, learning her post had made its way up the city chain of command. The mayor's office is highly upset that it doesn't look good for me. On June 19th, Fuente says she was called by the union president, Joseph Gentile, with a choice, resign or get fired. She says after speaking with the union attorney, she went back to Joe and chose termination. Joe told me that I didn't have the right to appeal because I'm on probation, even though I pay union dues. Western Mass News has reached out to Commissioner Claprood, who said, quote, this was Ms. Fuente's second infraction during her probationary period. Complaints about her social media post came from co-workers who were hurt by it and questioned her stance on the quote that advocated shooting police officers. It was my decision to terminate her employment. We also reached out to the union for a statement. A police career cut short, but Fuente's hopes not forever. The single mother of three says she hopes to use the experience going forward to fight for change. I was very dedicated to my to my position at the Springfield Police Department. Um, I'm a native of the city and my heart is with the city. Um, if I could get my job back, I'd go in there with my head high and do my job. Coming up on Western Mass News at 6, Springfield Mayor Dominic Sarno weighs in on Fuentes' firing. Live in Springfield, Henri Russo for Western Mass News.